Okay guys, welcome back to another video. Just wanted to show you guys a quick unboxing and uh, quick review of this stock WPL C24 scale rock crawler. This is a uh, 1 to 1/16th scale and uh, here's everything that comes in the ready to run package. This is $32 um, off the Banggood website and I do have the links in the description below but this is just a steal of a deal for what it really comes with so you can see it has the 2.4 gigahertz transmitter the camper shell uh, the charger which is a USB charger for the NICAD battery and a bunch of accessories um, bumper snorkel stickers things like that um, let's go ahead and show you a little bit more details about the truck Okay, so here's this WPL C24. Um, it's based off a 1983 Toyota pickup. I really like the design of the truck. Um, there's really nothing like this on the market right now um, for this price range. So this is great for someone looking for uh, an entry-level crawler. Um, the camper shell comes right off. And that uh, gets access to the battery here. You can see that uh, there's a 700 milliamp hour uh, six volt NICAD battery in there um, so detail on the truck I definitely rate that uh, really high the detail of the model is really really nice you can see just fine details in the windshield where the windshield wipers go if you install them the handles go the truck bed the front uh, some more of the positive things about this truck is the the front grille comes with the LED lights that are powered on when the truck is on, which I think is pretty realistic and awesome. Um, it comes with two solid axles. It's complete four-wheel drive. And the tires are pretty beefy. They got some really good tread on there. Um, this is the ready-to-run version, so the tires are a little bit stiffer than I'd like. Um, you can buy the kit tires off Banggood. I've added them in the description below. And uh, they're a little bit softer. They're pretty cheap as well. Um, they come off really easily. You just unscrew this screw and the tire pops right off. You can also take the tire off the hub here. And uh, you can do a couple modifications to it. Looking at the suspension, I feel that uh, it's pretty realistic um, for the scale. You can see that it has uh, two solid axles. And um, you know, you got the motor and transfer case that come out. And it, it just looks really good. I think they've done a great job on the way that this looks. Um, you can see some great articulation in the suspension. And then uh, you can see that it's, it's pretty stiff. And uh, yeah, I like a lot of things about it. Um, so yeah, those are some really good positive things. The other positive thing is it comes with uh, all these accessories. Uh, stickers, the windshield wipers, uh, bumpers. They're pretty realistic the way it looks. Um, so yeah, those are the positive things about it. Let's go ahead and uh, I'll just kind of bring out some of the negative things that uh, I saw on it. Okay, so starting at uh, some of the negative things. Um, so mine might be uh, because of damage during shipping or something, but uh, my, my you can look at the back axle here. One of my rims is slightly bent. It's just this one right here. So just watch that. So it's actually the rod and the axle. I'm sure I can get a replacement axle or even maybe straighten it out. Just that's how it was when I bought it. Um, the, st the steering servo. Yeah, this is interesting. So just listen to this. So that's completely normal. Um, basically, the, it's not proportional at all. It's just what um, the servo does. Um, you can see that uh, to basically turn it, um, Let's see if I can get that out of the way. Let's come down here. You just turn it one way and it's fully auto. Sorry, it's a little sticky in there. Battery's a little low. I do get you do get a little bit better turning out of it. But uh, yeah, the stock the stock servo leaves a little bit to be desired. Um, so yeah, there's there's a couple things that make this truck so it's not perfect, but for the cost, um, I really think it has a lot of potential. Um, the other downside is the fact that it comes with a NICAD battery. Um, you know, those don't have very good charge life. Uh, they have memory, things like that. Um, so yeah, let's, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the, um, potential that this rock crawler has. Okay. So looking at future potential, um, 
there's a couple of things that come to mind. Um, I've seen a few people online. Um, they've taken the body, they painted it, they made it better than this, uh, the blue color that it comes in, or even the red color. Um, so yeah, paint is definitely something that will add to the realism and uh, make it better looking. Um, some of the other mods that I've seen people do are um, um, they, if they have the ready to run version, which is this one here, um, they put the kit tires on, which are softer and better, uh, better gripping tires. Um, those are pretty cheap as well. So you're talking just for very cheap changes, you can, you make this a, a better rock crawler. Um, one of the bigger changes that you can do is you can, um, take out, uh, the stock receiver and transmitter and put in your own ESC transmitter receiver and servo and uh you know using banggood's website um, all those parts are fairly inexpensive and would really add to the quality of this truck so i've included some parts in the description below of um, what you can do to mod this and uh, make it a better uh, scale rock crawler so basically um, i'm going to have a future video coming out um, about the changes that I've done to this. So this is kind of a before the changes video. So if anybody has any questions or comments, please feel free to uh, leave them in the description below. I'm going to have all the parts um, and, you know, everything, how to get this truck in the description so that you can do these mods too. And I uh, hope you guys stick around for uh, future videos. I really love uh, doing videos on this stuff. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.